Wait, it isn't you, is it? <laughs> I, I suppose you'd better come in. I'll, I, I'll unlock the door. Thanks. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one now. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is gonna do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? So ein Gestörter. War ich da eigentlich schon mal drin? Replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. All right. All right. Uh, let's get it installed. Lass mich vorher noch ein bisschen Zeug nachfüllen, weil ich weiß ja, dass dann die Bösen kommen. System. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you don't have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. 
Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. You're not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point, if you want to get something done. Was hinten die? <lacht> Runter ja, rauf nein. Dann würde ich das mal interpretieren. Alter Schwede, wo kommt ihr denn alle her? <lacht> Seid dann untergefallen, komm, versuch's doch nochmal. Ein alter Renner. Kommt immer von der Seite, feige Sau. Der kommt immer von hier. Ich weiß, wie mit Granaten da draußen. Hat da noch irgendwas geblinkt? Aha, da gibt's Ammo. Na? Ich glaube, da habe ich noch genug von. Hier noch fast voll. Wo ist denn der, der Typ, der da wieder Zeug schmeißt? Wo ist der? Oh, 
the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Doctor, can you hear me? I think we're good to go. All right. I'll start looking for the signal. Please, head back. They didn't like that. gleich von allen Seiten. Schönen Dank. Mal lösen die sich auch mal nicht. Ich kann eigentlich auch mal auflösen bringen. Wie das ist. Na super, danke schön. Wo ist es hin? Löst dich auf. Heilung. Wenn ich es bis dahin schaffe. Na, schön verarscht. Dankeschön. Da war auch irgendwo ein Fragezeichen. Den Weg soll ich nicht nehmen. Ich soll mich hier verarschen lassen. Komm nicht da, geht es nicht aus.
Ganz schön schwierig. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Was gibt's denn hier? Das werde ich nicht beisammen haben, oder? Ne. Ne, kommt schon wieder der nächste. Ich schmeiße gleich zwei Leute. Super. Kommen die jetzt auch gleich nochmal? Ich bin doch eh schon so gut wie tot. Yes, I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why don't you simply... I don't know, write yourself some superpowers. It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. 
If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be angry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. Geht's jetzt wieder ins Autokino? The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. Habe ich eigentlich die Seiten vom letzten Mal? Ja. Aber da fehlen ja noch etliche. Und zwölf sind vierundzwanzig und drei sind siebenundzwanzig. Irgendwie war noch ein Koffer mit dreißig. Serena's probably out of her mind again, but I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise? The written word gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again. I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You want to hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife. Little wifey. Waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman. Or the neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. 
Guck mal hier rein. Da. Guck mal ins Licht, dass die Darkness aus dir rausgeht. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I don't want to be calm. I want to be nasty. I want to be nasty with you. Yeah. Okay. You could do anything you want. You can use my... Let's not even go there. I was hoping that you'd remember more. But I guess that was too much to ask. Jetzt lass doch mal ausreden. Andere Leute nicht ausreden zu lassen, ist auch unhöflich. Aber ich kann es mir denken. So, äh, wo waren jetzt die Keys? Hä? Sie haben die ganze Zeit geleuchtet. doch hier irgendwo geleuchtet. Ah, da, ich muss noch ein Zimmerchen weiter. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on here already. What's up? Hey, it's Ricky. You're talking about Facebook. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So, free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be faith? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. Getting it yet, genius? Aber wie kann wie viel kann er denn ab? Das ist doch nicht normal. Ich glaube, ich habe noch genug. Oh nein, warte mal. Was gibt es hier für eine Überraschung? Ich habe noch 28, habe ich keine 30. Und abgesehen gestroht Finke, das äh, macht die Streuung gerne nur größer. Ich da oben schon mal. Ah, hier gibt es auch noch mal eine Seite. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. <laughs> 